Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to load dynamic data under bootstrap modal with previous records and next records button link by using Ajax jQuery with PHP. In one of their video tutorial we have already made discussion on how to load dynamic data in bootstrap modal, so at that time we want view other data then we have closed the bootstrap and click on other records view button. But in this tutorial we will load dynamic data into bootstrap modal with previous and next records view button link, so when we have click on previous and next button then view can view details of next or previous records on same modal without closing same modal. So with this tutorial you can view all records on single modal by clicking on next or previous button. One of the my viewer has requested me to make this type of web tutorial. So we have make this type of the tutorial by using Ajax jQuery with PHP and Bootstrap. Now let's start learning this topic. This is our testing database and in this we have one table like posts with four table column like post head, post title, post author and post description. We have already inserted some data into this table so we will load this table data on web page first. This is our index page and on this page we have include JavaScript library jQuery link and we have also include bootstrap library style sheet and JavaScript link also. First we want to load posts table data on this page, so we have make database connection, so we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with four argument like host name set to locale lost, user name set to root. Password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection we have write dollar query variable is equal to select start from posts table order by posted in ascending order. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result under dollar result variable. Here first we have defined one table with four table column like post, post title, author and view. We will load posts table data under this table. For print posts table data so we have write while loop with condition like dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result variable. This function will convert query result into array and store into dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write echo statement with open and close table row tag and between this tag we have defined four table data tag and first three tag we have print post table data like post head, post title and post author data. In last table data tag we want to print view button for load post data under modal, so here we have write button tag with attribute name is equal to view. Class is equal to view and under it attribute view store dynamic data of posted get from dollar row posted variable. In this button we will use attribute class view as selector under jQuery code and we will get an eek posted from attributed in which we have store posted. Now we have moved to write HTML code for bootstrap modal. So for this first we have write division tag with attribute it is equal to post modal and class is equal to modal and fade. Here modal class identifies the content of this division tag and fade class adds transition effect to bootstrap modal. Then after we have write other division tag with class attribute is equal to modal dialog, this class sets the proper width and margin of the modal. In this division tag we have write one more division tag between this tag with attribute class is equal to modal header. This class is used to define the style of the header of the modal. 
In this division tag we have defined one button for close bootstrap moto, so for this we have right button type is equal to button class is equal to clothes and data dismiss is equal to modal. With the help of this button we can close bootstrap modal by clicking on this button. For display bootstrap modal title, we have right heading for tag with class is equal to modal title with text post details. This class display the title of the bootstrap modal. Now we have defined one more division tag with attribute class is equal to modal body and it attribute is equal to post detail. Here modal body class is used to define the style for the body of the modal and we will display HTML data into this post detail attribute in query code. Lastly in HTML modal code we have defined division tag with attribute class is equal to modal footer and in this division we have defined one button type is equal to button class is equal to button and button default bootstrap class and data dismiss is equal to model. Here modal footer class is used to define the style for the footer of the modal and by using this button we can close bootstrap modal. Now we have moved to write query code for fetch post data from post table. So first we have defined one function fetch post data with one post in argument. This function will fetch particular post data from post table and load data under bootstrap modal. Under this function we have write dollar dot ajax method and under this method we have write first option URL set to fetch dot php. Here we have send request to this URL. In second option we have write method option and under this option we have defined post method. Here we have used post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option. Under this option we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have write posted variable. Here we have send value of this posted variable to server. And lastly in Ajax method we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and it received data from server. Under this function first we want to pop up bootstrap modal, so we have write dollar with modal id post modal as selector with modal method and under this method we have write show. This code will pop up modal on web page. After this we want to display post data under division tag with id post details under modal, so we have write dollar with id post details with html method and under this method we have write data argument. This code will display post details under this division tag. So our function is ready now when we have click on view button then at that time modal must be pop up with post data. So here we have write dollar document with on method and under this method we have write click event button class view with function. So when we have click on view button this code has been execute. Under this first we want to get value of post head. So here we have write variable posted is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this we have write ed. Here we will get posted from id attribute in which we have store posted data and store into posted variable. After getting posted now we have called fetch post data function. So we have write fetch post data function with posted variable as argument. This function will fetch post data according to value of this posted variable and display under modal. Now we have moved to write PHP code on fetch.php page. So on this page first we have write of statement and under condition we have writes a function and under this function we have write dollar posted variable. This condition will check if value of this posted variable is set then it will execute if block. Suppose value of dollar posted variable is set. Now we want to make database connection. So we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument. After making database connection we have write dollar output variable is equal to blank value. Under this variable we will store post data in HTML format. 
Now we have right dollar query variable is equal to select star from posts table where posted is equal to dollar post posted variable. This query will fetch particular post data from post table. After this we want to execute this query so we have write dollar result variable is equal to mistly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into dollar result variable. Now we want to fetch data from dollar result variable, so we have write while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result argument. This function will convert query result into array and store into dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append HTML code like open and close header to tag and between this tag we want to print post title so we have write dollar row post title variable. Below this title we want to print author name so we have write author by text with dollar row post author variable, this will print author name. And lastly we want to append post description, so we have write open and close paragraph tag and between this tag we have write dollar row post description variable. So this way we have store post details under this dollar output variable. Now we want to get previous posted and next posted for fetch load previous post and next post data under modal. So first we have write query for get previous posted. So we have write dollar query one variable is equal to select posted from posts table where posted less than dollar post posted variable order by posted in descending order with limit one. This query will return previous posted from post table. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar result one variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. This function will execute query and store result into this dollar result one variable. Now we want to convert this query result into array, so we have write dollar data one variable is equal to miscly fetch a sack function with dollar result one argument. This function convert query result into array and store into dollar data one variable. Same way we want to get next posted, so we have again write dollar query two variable is equal to select posted from posts table where posted greater than dollar post posted variable order by posted in ascending order with limit one. This query will return next posted from post table. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar result two variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. This function will execute query and store result into this dollar result two variable. Now we want to convert this query result into array. So we have write dollar data two variable is equal to miscly fetch a sack function with dollar result two argument. This function convert query result into array and store into dollar data two variable. Below this we have defined two variable like dollar if previous disable and dollar if next disable with blank value. We will use this variable to define disable button if above data posted has no value. So here first we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar data one posted variable value is equal to blank. Here this condition will check if dollar data one posted has no value then it will execute if block of code. Suppose this dollar data one posted has no value then it will execute if block and under this we have write dollar if previous disable variable is equal to disabled. Same way here we have again write if statement and under condition we have write dollar data to posted variable value is equal to blank. Here this condition will check if dollar data to posted has no value then it will execute if block of code. Suppose this dollar data to posted has no value then it will execute if block and under this we have write dollar if next disable variable is equal to disabled.
After getting previous and next posted and define if posted has no value then it will be disabled. So now we have moved to append HTML button code into dollar $Output variable. So we have write dollar $Output variable and first we want to append previous button code. So we have write button tag with attribute type is equal button name is equal to previous class is equal to previous. And in it we have store posted get from dollar data when posted variable and lastly in button tag we have write dollar if previous disable variable. This variable has value if dollar data one posted has no value that means at that time it will be disabled. Same way we want to append next post button code. So we have write button tag with attribute type is equal button name is equal to next class is equal to next. And in it we have store posted get from dollar data to posted variable and lastly in button tag we have write dollar if next disable variable. This variable has value if dollar data one posted has no value that means at that time it will be disabled. So we have save all code into dollar output variable now we want to send this data to ajax request so we have write echo statement with dollar output variable and this data will be display under modal box. Now we have moved to write query code on when we have click on previous button and load previous post data. So here we have write dollar document with on method and under this method we have write click event with button class previous with function. Under this function first we want to get posted from button tag id attribute. So we have write variable posted is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this method we have write id. This code will fetch value from id attribute and store into posted variable. And below this we have write fetch post data function with post in argument. This function will fetch post details of this posted variable value and display post details under pop-up modal. Same way when we have click on next button and load next post data. So here we have write dollar document with on method and under this method we have write click event with button class next with function. Under this function first we want to get posted from button tag id attribute. So we have write variable posted is equal to dollar this with attribute method and under this method we have write id. This code will fetch value from id attribute and store into posted variable. And below this we have write fetch post data function with post in argument. This function will fetch post details of this posted variable value and display post details under pop up modal. So our code is ready so we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see when page post title with view button has been display under table. So when we have click on view button then you can see modal has been pop up with post data like post title, post author name and post description. Below post details we can see that previous and next button. Here previous button is disabled and next button is active. This is because it is first post and there is no previous post so previous button is disabled. Same way when we have come to last post at that time next button will be disabled. So when we have click on next button then it display next post data under modal without refresh of web page and now previous and next both button is active. So this way we can load data into modal with previous and next button. So we can see all post data on single modal without closing one modal and click on next modal view button. Here we can view all data one by one in single modal. This feature has been used if you have many and you want to load in single modal then you can follow this tutorial. If you like this video please share this video with your friends. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query under comment box. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our channel for get update regarding future video and lastly I hope this tutorial will help you. We will be meet in next video, keep visiting our channel. Thank you.